Hello, it's Johnny. I uh, haven't done a video for a while because uh, this uh, RK one up, not RK one up. Sorry, this uh, mini RK uh, uh, have some give me some problem because uh, joystick I've been purchasing. I will do a video at the end of the this video, how to fix the joystick light, and uh, but I want to go over this real quick before I put it put it together and, sh and demo it. Uh, I went and put copper. Uh, three copper here and then some the bigger bigger chips here so that I could uh, level this out so when I put the fan in it will level out uh, the only copper you need is the is the CPU and then uh, this one is just the uh, the Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi is over here uh, forgot what this one is now but anyway, I put a copper here because there's nothing on top, so I could put as thick as I want for the, I believe the processor memory, the ROM, and then the processor, and then this one thing is the Wi-Fi, and this is the Bluetooth. Okay, so I put all that in, and then I put the two fan. Now, to make this work, uh, what I did is, I put this uh, light, for for my marquee I plug it into uh, port number two so if you count from the top let me zoom this in so you see better so number two it counted from the top would be uh, one and then two three four five six seven eight like that okay so the one uh, two two is the power and then uh, four is the power so four red one is on the fan and number f uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is the uh, grounded, okay, the black one. And then uh, I use the the five and the nine so that I could uh, for the uh, for the shutdown. In the middle, uh, if you count the top again, is one, three, five. I skipped seven and then I did the nine. And nine is the ground. Okay, and that is where uh, I did the for the shutdown. Okay, the five and the nine. Normally they use the five and six, but I couldn't use the six because uh, this this uh, cable is 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 glued together, so I cannot separate them. So this I use the double fan, and this is the B Raspberry Pi B plus and it seemed to work just great okay so I want to show you that before uh, I put this back on the, the wood so I have it face it this way and what I did is I drove a hole so the fan could blow out the system it didn't have a hole uh, when I first got the cabinet but uh, I went and put that in so that way uh, it would suck the air out and now this pie I can let it run uh, overnight uh, I don't have to worry about it uh, heating up uh, same thing with my retro RK, the one that I put Raspberry Pi in it. Now this one, it the price range is pretty good. Uh, it's not too expensive because I I, I believe I spent uh, seventy six dollar USA money, and I got the I got the uh, let me zoom back out so you can see. Well, I guess you can see pretty well like that. So. I purchased the case, it comes with artwork and everything. And and I have to do is buy the, the Raspberry Pi and all that stuff. Now uh, Raspberry Pi, everything <clears throat> is roughly is gonna run to you close to uh, uh two hundred dollar uh not Raspberry Pi but all the whole setup is gonna run to you pretty good price. Uh is Raspberry Pi is not really cheap. But if you like me, like retro, uh, retro arcade uh, game, those kind of game, and you don't want to like uh, get stuck with a uh, on a system that does not support it very well, like retro arcade, uh, the R R seven, and it's by Open Dingo, they call it, and their in emulator doesn't is not very great. I mean, it's okay. For the price and it do what you need to do but 
is not the best. So, like people who want to play Neo Geo, uh, they make the system to look like Neo Geo, the retro arcade, uh, the R7. They make it to look like a, a, a Neo Geo Mini, but and it, it do support Neo Geo, but you have to know how to format the format to uh, to FBA. Um, then all the game will work well with the the stock firmware, which is the original firmware that came with the system. Now, those of you who uh, who wanted to upgrade to a uh, customer firmware, which is great. I mean, they do have a better the customer firmware now is much better now, and they do a better job. So this is the control for the uh, for my. Uh, no, I can't talk the RK. Okay. okay. So if you look in here, uh it's not too messy, it's not too bad. Uh I didn't do any tie web, I just plug everything in. I don't know why this one is kinda of awkward shape. Kind of not oh maybe because I didn't have it back here. Okay. So I got everything plugged in. Uh I just remember to keep them in order. So K1 is is A and B and so on. And I try to keep them in order so that way when I plug this to any kind of a system that support USB I could use this bar top you know in any system uh, even uh, even on the Neo Geo uh, not Neo Geo but Neo Geo uh, Cologne the retro RK uh, which is the which is the R7 now, for some reason, uh, I couldn't get my shutdown button to work, so I'm still working on that. But I did get the, uh, let me zoom back out. I did able to get the, the marquee light to light up using the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put everything in here. And... I think it's because the new Raspberry Pi version uh, is the setup is different so or the link or the site is different so I couldn't get it to work so once I get it working I'll let you guys know and you guys could do the same thing uh, right now I'm I'm downloading the uh, motion blue which is a 256 gig and that motion blue uh, have a, a script that built in with it and then you could uh, actually just click on it and it will automatically set it up for you so you could have that motion blue script now this one I need to figure out how far I need to tape this so that the light will shine you know pretty good so that uh, let me put something on top so it won't it won't move all right and so the shutdown button right now doesn't work, but I do have a button here that turn it on. But I have to do a shutdown first before I turn it off. Okay, the light does does light up, but since this is a, a black a black background, uh, this light is not going to be going to be that going to shine through it very well. We can see it does have some light on it. So let me turn off the power. Huh, did I forgot to plug something in? Because the sound just got low. Sorry. You bring it up close to you. So it boot directly to Sega Genesis. And I'm not sure why this thing is not. Now I added two extra buttons on the side. So the, the two yellow is matching the yellow here. 
the yellow uh, L1, L1, okay, and then and then the trigger button, left trigger button, then right, we have the green, which match the green button here, and then this will give you the L, uh, the R1 and R2, and then trigger button on the right, okay. And I do not have another joystick, so there's they will ask you for another two joystick configuration, but I don't have any. But it should do it will it will work with just one joystick, and most of RK uh, support just one joystick until you go to Nintendo sixty four. So this is a Sega Genesis build, so I do not have a Nintendo sixty four, but I do I did add a couple RK game into it, even though it this uh. This image does not have nothing but you only have the full version of Sega Genesis. It's a 64 gig. And so I, I transfer its 64 gig to a 128 gig. And so now it supports the 128 gig. And I believe I did a video. Uh, I need to do a video on that, how to do that. How to change from our a 64 gig to uh, 128 gig and there's a script you run and then you can make that happen so I, I, will, I will do a separate video on this and show you how to do that so you could take an image that is 32 gig build or 64 gig build and then you could add more ROM to it more game to it so like for example I got Neo Geo but I don't have I need to fix this part once I figure out I'm gonna fix it but it's no big deal you just go into this game and this one since I copy it from the image that have video it, it bring all the video snap uh, version over so you got all the snaps video in here now I not sure what I did to it let me go check the video real quick see why the sound just suddenly die on me Hundred percent. All right, let me try to reboot. There you go. I just need to reboot it. And this whole thing boot up. Everything is Sega Genesis. So it match my uh, my arcade artwork, which is uh, and now you can purchase this from. Uh, I'll have the link from this guy. He charged pretty very reasonable price, and he will have uh, the artwork as well. You can see the little bit of the light if I block it. It can't really see very well because the thing is is black. This thing is black so you can't see the LED light. So I might just unplug it because it's not really doing any good for my... This is what I'm talking about right here. See so has the LED light here very bright but it's not it's not really showing the the light because it, this thing is black so now this one this is the genesis original genesis so if i want to do uh Go Street of Rage. I press the select button. You can see okay. Alright. So I'm looking for Street of Rage. So I'm going to S.
Elo with Sonic on it. It had the uh, Basil on the side. It's pretty cool. This image is pretty nice it's for Sega Genesis only. So if you like Sega Genesis and you want a cabinet that have Sega, uh, Sonic, you could do that. I'm glad I bought, I pre-ordered the uh, Sega Genesis Mini and I'm glad that they're including this game. The sound is great. You could also save the game when you're playing. So one thing I, uh, one thing that, well, let me talk about that later after this. Let me demo one of the game here first. I guess you press the uh... So if you press the select R I think it's safe and this is too low so if you press the select and R, it will actually save the game for you. So to get out of the game, well, let me finish this level. Well, I think it's gonna take a while before I finish. So select all to save, and then double double button to get out. So if I was to start the game again. So save is R, select R. So now I'm gonna do uh, well, let me start the game. Then I'm gonna do the see if I could do select low. There you go. See, I did select L and then load the game again back where I was. So select, oops. So I'm gonna quit again. So that's how you, uh, one thing cool about uh, Retro Arcade, you have video, you have sound, you can save, you can load, and you can adjust the sound, you can adjust the screen, you know, because the video call allow you to do that, and you don't get stuck with one thing, okay? So let me get out here and go to go to okay. Now add the NES, the one that I added that didn't come with the system, so you could see the that it doesn't have any graphic 
uh, the one had graphics is the one already came with the system. Now this one did came with arcade but didn't have that much game. So I added a lot of game. Like uh, how many game I add? I added 1760 game in here. So you have all the game you want to play. You have that 19, 1944 that came with Final Fight. The shooting game. Okay. It comes with golf and uh, Ghost and Gollum. And it comes with a uh, final fight. So let's go to final fight. And one thing cool about it is this is an arcade. Now, people might say, well, arcade one is a true arcade. They use an emulator. Uh, they, they hack it and they find out they're using a main as well, emulator. So. He, this is the same. This is using the emulator to, as well. So it's the same same game experience. You're not gonna see the difference because they both use emulator. But at least this one you pay three close to uh, I have to add all the price up. You know, three fifty, you know, and maybe similar to two ninety nine, but you have all the game you want. And you can pick the screen you want, the size you want, and you can build your own retro arcade. <coughs> so, Final Fight, they have the video. So, you get to see Final Fight 2 and this Final Fight. Now, Final Fight 3 is not really arcade, it's more the like Nintendo version, Super Nintendo that convert to an arcade. If you, if you happen to download one that says it's made for arcade, is actually is a Super Nintendo. It's not really a. And you could also get with a bezel if you want and make a screen lock. You know, stretch it out if you want. You could do that too. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the game. Press select. Now one thing I was hoping that RK One Up would do is allow us to save the game. Allow us to put. In, insert coin and start the game not just start the game that's it they took out that the real feeling of arcade I like to insert a coin like I put in a quarter in they took that out but they did not add the, the, the option to, for you to what you call it to save and and to load the game you know like this button I just press the R button to to save select R and select you know and you have the button, so why can't they do that to make all the arcade, you know, kind of neat? I mean, you already take out the the arcade, the original feeling, the insert coin. If you're going to take that out, why can't you add this other option in, like save mode? Because I don't want to sit here and play that same game over and over and over again. And then I, I cannot beat the game, so I stop. But then I have to start all over again in the beginning. Well, this one, I could save it and come back and I could finish the game. So, I mean, it's not, to me, it's my home system and I should be able to do that. I shouldn't have to like play the game till I finish, you know. Then I feel like I'm wasting my time. Something happens, somebody wants my attention or I need to do something for my kids or I have to eat dinner. At least I could stop and then go eat, you know, not that they keep on running, you know. All right, let's go ahead and start the game. I already insert a coin. I always like this guy. Because when this guy first came out, it was the biggest character ever made in home council system. And when we, me and my nephew were playing this, we were like, oh wow, this is so cool. The character is so big. And we was hoping that one day they will they will make a character so big that you could. Now this game we use three buttons. I don't know why they only have two buttons. Well, I guess it is only two buttons. Never mind. This button doesn't work.
All right, I'm gonna select select all to save it. Yeah, when he pick up that big fat guy, we were like, whoa, he is so strong. It's like so cool. Yep. Now I'm going to press select, save. Now I'm going to get out. Now can RK, RK one up do this? Load the game. Doesn't take that long to load it. And you could get rid of the Marquia or you could have a Marquia. Okay, one up doesn't you can't do that. I mean the artwork is great, final final fight is great. I'm buying the 10 inches uh coming pretty soon. It doesn't have anything inside, just a box and artwork. And I'm designing it with my uh my buddy that is making the he's from UK, UK uh and he's building me a, a one called SNK vs Capcom Pop 2. So it's gonna be pretty cool. So I am gonna press the Select and L to low, R to save, L to low. See, I'm back here again. Okay, RK one up cannot do that. So I was gonna buy it, but then I'm like, you know what? I don't have space for 17 inches. And my wife looked at me like, man, you got so many RK. Do you need to buy another one? And she's right. You know, I don't have space, but at least this one I could move it in the corner. I could, you know, it's not heavy. They say it's not heavy, but 60 pounds is pretty heavy, you know. Especially when it's in the box, it's not easy to take it out and carry it around. I did actually bought more combat, and then I returned it. I went to uh, Walmart, and they have it in the store, in the back. The guy went to look for it, and there was two of them. And I bought one, but then I'm like, I don't remember any of the arcade moves for the more combat. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and return it because I'm gonna get beat up and I won't remember all the fancy moves to do all the special combo. So I decide not to do it. Yay! So I'm gonna save it again. I'm gonna let's level. Save. Now let's get out. That's awesome. That's cool. And then I could play Final Fight 2. I mean, why, why, they, why they didn't include Final Fight? If it's a Final Fight cabinet, they should include Final Fight 1, Final Fight 2, and Final Fight 3. You know? Okay, since I add this RK in here, I will have to set it up. Because it, this this uh this version did not come with it, so just click on press A. Uh, let me show you. So why not using May 2003? It doesn't work. So I go to the second one, select the emulator for the ROM. So let me try 2010, and I'm going to launch the game. Now if it works. That's great. If it doesn't, then I choose another one. It have like several different May, see? And this used in May 2010 instead of 2003. And it worked. The other one used 2003. See? And this is part three. And part two. I wonder if I had to choose a different one. This got made 2010. It sound like the sound is not all there.
Let me try a different one. So I start the game. Press A, 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 A. And that's how you configure. When you add new WAM into it, you just, this is how you configure. So you don't want to configure, you don't want to change the default. You just want to change just that for that game. Because different games use different emulator. So let me try 2000 and see if I can launch it. Let's see emulator 2000. Nope, 2000 does not work. So let's try. May for all. So it looks like it has to be 2010. Let's see. Let me try final burnout. See the work with final burnout. So final burnout does not work. I just want to try a different one, see which one play better, you know, with the emulator. But that's how you, uh, if you copy any new game to a system that is not set up yet, you will have to do this, what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is trying different emulator, see which one works the best. But if you, if you get an image that already have the the, this thing set up, you don't have to do nothing. The reason I, I'm doing this is because I add game to here that that the system did not include it. X for launch. All right, so i gonna try one more before I put it back to May uh, 2010 again. There's the last option is on top. It's called uh, AD May, Events May point ninety four, And I go down to the X to launch. Nope, so I guess I have to use the 2010 May for this game to work. So I choose the second option for it say emulator which uh, for this emulator one which emulator you want to use. So I'm gonna choose IR May 2010 and then I go down to launch and then it will work. So Final Fight 2 the sound is not that great for some reason maybe that's why they didn't put it either because they will have the same problem I'm having too maybe I could overclock it and maybe it will be, be will sound better because I did not overclock mine yet and I can because right now my temperature is, is, is great it's fine no issue So I'll have to test the test the overclock to play this game better. All right, let's get our game. Now the other game that came with it, it was uh, Strider. So let's try Strider. Start with an S. There's so many games out here, it's hard to find them. 1,000 games. Okay, here's a whole bunch of Strider. Oh, that's the... Here we go, this should be it. There you go, Strider. 
and give you a preview, it give you a description. So it tell you it's in the year 200,048. So it's pretty cool. All right, let's see if it works. Yeah, look how it's gone too. So if I have all the game and I could put it in a smaller, this is a only seven inch screen. Uh, turn out that this screen is IPX, but it's, it has some problem with it. I didn't know until I open open it up. So when I open it up, I find out the cable and the thing was was falling apart. I had to put the hot glue on it. So the video might be not hundred percent as good as it's supposed to be for the IPX screen, but. I don't want to do anything to it to make it worse, so I just hot glue it and just so it won't move. So which is 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 okay, but the one I just bought ten inches is IPX is a ten point one and he's working on the bar top and it's gonna be look real awesome. He had May and Chung Li here and cool light up our Markia and everything is protected with screen protection. Uh, I wind up messed up mine. Uh, just FYI, just let you know, uh, this is a pretty co cool box design, but uh, the the art design is not waterproof. It's not uh, what do you call it, uh, Evelyn, Evelyn. It's not the what you call. It? I forgot the name. So, I'll put the description where to get the paper if you have to reprint it. Uh, the one I reprinted, this one is easy to pull pull up and and peel peel and and uh, <clears throat> to put it on and unpeel it and peel it is uh, removable and it's also water resistant. So if you get water on it when you clean the screen, you don't have to worry about the picture getting damaged. So this one is uh, I went and reprinted it because I, I messed up uh, it and then plus the 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 whole button is not using the the same location. You sh I have to drill the the hole. And then I also had to draw the hole here. Uh, try not to draw too close to each other because I did that with the other side and I broke the I broke the the plastic here right here in the middle. You can't really see it, but I did. And so just uh just FYI, so be careful not to draw too close to each other. Uh so it, it let me do those two L1, L2. But L2 and the other one, you don't really use it as much as uh, the one up here. Uh, but the other one is longer, it's 10 inches, it will allow me to have six button. Now, if you ever have an arcade, don't have this next to the joystick because when you put your hand here and play, your hand will leave some mark on your hand and it, it doesn't feel very good. I'd rather this thing is flat all the way out or maybe this and this are the same level height so when you put your hand here it won't hurt now you can play the game on the table and sit on the you know table dining room table or whatever and you could put your elbow on the table and play like this or you could stand up and play standing up but if you play putting your hand on top of this for resting that's the downside is that it, it, it hurts your hand because you you have this tiny little uh, plastic is, is sitting I mean, look pretty having like that, but when you sit, when you put your hand on it, it's not that comfortable. It's like same thing with the uh, the templates that they built. They put the wall real close right here, and then when you play, you have to put your finger between it, and that's why I complain about the templates. Uh, it's it's pretty when it's big arcade, but when you downsize it to uh to the one six size, it's best to not have this thing sticking out because your hand is this unless you flush it evenly and that would be great okay uh, the new he have a new model that this would be clear which support 8 inch screen and he have another one uh, that he's building that I'm ordering from him is a is a 10 inch screen and that one is going to be my main one that I have a beautiful arcade that would be my my main to go go to uh, arcade game and that one I'm gonna put a 256 uh, gigabyte SD card, and uh, I probably might put a one terabyte hard drive into it. Uh, so I'm working on that, and once I get that going, I'll probably, uh, so I'm still waiting for it. He's still working on the artwork, but I have uh, 
May on the SNK and Capcom SNK uh, with May and then uh, Chun Li over here and it look real cool and then uh, he already got the Marquia set up already and he's doing the second uh, second picture which is not going to be the same we will have a uh, different character here uh, it will probably have uh, that that or a lie from Dreamcast because I'm going to have Dreamcast in that game system so we'll have Dreamcast game and we'll have that that all alive character which is the Kanasamiya the, the lady in blue and uh, what's the other character and Rose like the X-Men uh, character from Rose the uh, Capcom X Men versus uh, SNK, I believe, or or Capcom vs X Men, I forgot what's the name. Part two, I think, and he will have Rose in here and everything. So it's gonna be pretty, and this guy did an excellent job and all that stuff. And I figured out how to create my own uh, artwork. I don't have a fancy software. I just have paintbrush. So I'll do a separate video on that and show you guys how to do it using window paintbrush. How can you uh, put a picture over a picture and then have a background. Uh, I was able to successful figure out how to do that. But I don't have a printer that print this big because this is not a normal size. A normal size is only uh, 8 by 11 and a half inches. 8 and a half by 11. And so I can't print that big. So, but he give you enough room to have a lot of stuff going in here with the joystick, easy to access. So you, it's nice to have a room this big, so it's good. Uh, my joystick is kind of high, so it make the, make kind of, make the system kind of awkward. So it make it look like you have a fat body and a small <laughs> top. But if this is a little bit lower, but, you know, it would be, he does sell the system all configured for you. Like I have already have the screen and the Raspberry Pi, so it doesn't make sense for me to let him build it and then I have to, I have an extra Raspberry Pi and a seven inch screen. So I'm like, okay, but the screen is the one is the most expensive. It's like, uh, you know, I forgot how much, like seventy eight dollar or something, and uh, the Raspberry Pi is only thirty five bucks. So. I want to able to have the arcade feeling with the bigger screen. So I decided to go get the 10 inches ones that, that I went and purchased it from Amazon. And that one is 106. That's a better model. It allows you to plug the Raspberry Pi directly to the monitor. So you don't have to have two wires coming out where mine have two. And I like the idea have the fan here so it sucked the heat out and so you won't be so hot in here and then i have the marquee light set up so i probably will do the same thing with the other one uh, i don't know it will work with just one light or i might have to do two light or a bigger led light this is from a usb for laptop that i i took it apart and i i, I think i did a video on how how I get that where I purchased that from the retro arcade video in the past uh, so if you need the link let me know and I'll give you the link it's in Amazon it's called a USB LED light uh, USB LED light yeah so you could plug into the laptop so when you so when you are you know working at night you can't see your keyboard you have the light to shine on the keyboard all right that's enough talking let's go ahead and start the game Sounds great. Oh, mine have two speakers. See? I have one speaker here, one speaker here. Where, where RK1 up only have one speaker. So that's kind of sad. With the price you pay, you, you assume that they will give you, uh, you know, at least a two, you know, two speakers surround the sound, you know. But it doesn't have two speakers.
Uh, I'm gonna show you. Uh, I know. I know. I, pl I plugged this in too quick. Let me take the light off so I won't shine you guys with uh, the bright light. Got one speaker and a second speaker, and I have adjust adjuster. I could actually put this outside to adjust the the value, the sound, the color. But I have to open this up. But I went and put it over here so I can adjust it, make it more louder. So let's turn around. I was thinking about drilling some hole on top of the Arkea down here and then put the speaker right here so the sound coming out here in the front instead of the back but it, it's loud enough so I could turn it down so I prefer to turn it up because then I can adjust it directly from the pie without have to open the case up okay so then if I want to do it uh, from the arcade I just select the sound setting, uh, sound setting, and then I could turn the sound down from here. Now it hardly have any sound. <laughs> I think when you when you do the sound setting, you have to restart the emulator, I believe. Okay, start button, sound setting. I think I adjust it too low. All right, let's go. Oop. Back. Let's see if I have to. I probably don't have to. Alright, adjust the sound, back, okay, back, let's see if the sound is, is let's see if the sound is lower now, since I, uh, I turn it up in the back, and then I adjust it from the software, and see if the sound is much lower. Yeah, it's much lower. You can't hardly hear it now because I put on 46. Yeah, the sound is real low. So let's get out of the game and let's adjust the sound much higher. I just want to see if a sound will automatically adjust lower if I without have to reboot it. That's way too low. I think 80, 80 is fine. There you go. Alright. So I have all the game here and let's try Ghost and Gollum. That's the one that it came with the final fight. I mean, if you, I was thinking, I was thinking about buying it, but then I'm like, you know what? I have all the Raspberry Pi everywhere. I have all the little handheld system. So do I really want to buy that and just sit in the house and play? Uh, I prefer to take it with me or, you know, like show off my system to people. I don't know why I have two versions of it. I got a ghost and golem. Oh, golem and ghost. And then this one is called a ghost and. This one is a little bit different. Hmm. I didn't know I have two different versions here.
Probably one of them work and one of them. Yeah, they both work. So yeah, I got the two RK experience because it is a true ROM of RK and it's not a fake ROM. ROM. And uh, I do have an RK joystick and all light up. And I only pay $76, $73 for this, this box. I don't have to spend $299 to get the box and then get the joystick and then get the Raspberry Pi. And that that would be the most expensive way to go about it. But it would be big, it would be big screen. So uh, it depends what's your reference. Uh, to me, I want to buy something is cheaper and then upgrade it. If RK One Up allow us to buy their cabinet without the hardware or joystick, you know, maybe the screen that come with it, or maybe we could buy our own screen and put a better screen, whatever it might be. And so we could adjust the screen color because the one they gave us we can adjust it everything is pre adjust pre-programmed for you so they really nothing you could do if you get a good one you get a good one if you get a bad one you get stuck with it so all right that's my opinion about why I didn't buy RK one up the final fight is out in at Walmart uh, and I actually put it on my phone in one of my cart to purchase if I buy that plus the riser which is $39 um, after tax is like $360 to buy the RK one up and only come with three games well this one I could play as many game I want Man, those ghost, ghost got them just come up from nowhere disappear and come out I wonder it's the hard people say all right so if I want to save it I just press select R save it oh I save it from the beginning <laughs> I have to pass a level before I save it it just bring me back to the same place I was Let's talk about what game I like. They really need to put this game in in uh, Sega Genesis. Okay, they need to put this in there. Okay, and I'll show you which game I'm talking about. Because the guy is a uh, he's a the legend, you know. He he passed away already, and this is a pretty awesome ah. I didn't press the A button. No, that's not one. Let's get out again. I meant to press the uh, A button when I was doing the select. So I'm going to, you can see what I'm, if you could guess what I'm looking for. Going to M, press A. And I'm looking for a game, start with M. So which game am I looking for? Oh, they need to have this game too. M E R C C S. Okay, this this one doesn't have an emulator, so I, I cannot show you that. And then they need to have Michael Jackson Moonwalk. They need to have that. They need to add that as part of the the 40 game. Right now they only give you 20 games, and those 20 games are real awesome. I like it. But they need to add this game. I play this game all the time. Okay? And they need to add this game. Moonwalk. I turned the sound down so you can't really hear it.
I'm trying to do moonwalk. There you go, moonwalk. Haha. <laughs> Ah, we're not going down. There you go. Yay, past the level. Oh, wow, I got them dancing. You just hold the Y key for a while and you get everybody to dance and they'll die at the same time. So now I can save the game. And so next time I'll start level two step. Save. All right. So that's pretty cool. So they need to have uh, Michael Jackson and the one I told you, uh, Mercury. Merc Mercurius. Mercurius. They have this one in arcade too, but this is a Sega Genesis version. Alright, thank you for watching. Uh, it's a long video, but I just want to touch all bases. Uh, I will do a video about the, how to fix the controller for the light. If you have an A version, you have problem getting the light to work. And then uh, I'll do a video how to get the artwork going with the paintbrush. So you guys could uh, see how I do it and then you could get some idea how to do it yourself. Alright. Alright, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye bye.